We have a lovely hot house here at Cumberland House Natural History Museum. Um, we have lots of tropical butterflies, but also at the moment we have some species that you can see around the UK. Um, it's very hot in there today, given this heat wave we're having this week. Um, and so you can see lots and lots of butterflies out enjoying that, that sun and that heat as we speak. We had the butterfly house actually built um, got a couple of dec decades ago now. Um, and so we've had butterflies in there for quite a number of years. We get them in as the pupae, as cocoons. Me and my colleagues, we attach the cocoons to bamboo canes uh, with a bit of glue in, in a way that doesn't hurt them at all. And uh, after they've had a few days, sometimes a bit longer, um, in the heat of the butterfly house, they emerge. Uh, essentially, they unzip uh, their cocoons and they take a number of hours to get ready to fly. Um, so they need to pump fluid into their wings uh, and then these need to, um, to harden to enable them to fly. And so in our butterfly house you can see them as cocoons and then flying around as adults. I'd hope that when the public come and look at the butterfly house they can learn lots about life cycles. Um, so it's very relevant, fits in with national curriculum. So we get lots of school groups and there's a lot of potential for those groups, also young children and families to come in and learn about life cycles. Um, but also species identification. Um, most of the species we have in the butterfly house are um, they're tropical. Um, so it gives you a chance to learn about things you probably wouldn't otherwise see 